Shane, given our extensive history with Denmark, is this yeah. a bit of a revenge mission than you and the squad tonight? Um, I'm not sure it's revenge. I think we're all, we're all professionals and we sort of have to forget about the past and, and that's the mentality we've got to help and we need it's a fresh start, obviously. It's a new manager coming in and it's different ideas and so we've got to go there and, and, try, and, and try and beat them and we're all excited for it. Yeah, is, drawing on your experience of those games in the past, is there anything that we can improve either mentally or tactically? I think you've got to go there with a winning mentality. You've got to go there and put it on them and, and try and go and win the game. So I think that's the approach we're going to take, hopefully, and go out there and put it on them. We know their strengths and I think we know each other quite well. So hopefully we can try and go there, put it on them, make them put it under a bit of pressure and see, see how it goes. Yeah, uh, Matt, considering you're such an outstanding uh, Premier League season, is there much frustration in your mind that you're now in an Irish squad and competing with the captain and James Coleman for the same position? <coughs> Not frustration, I would say no. Um, yeah. it's, just, it's just the way it is. Um, me and James go on really well, We're quite close, good friends. Um, and whoever plays will we'll play, we'll do a good job. Yeah, uh, you both played against Gibraltar, and I know Mick admitted afterwards that that didn't work. From your perspective, why didn't it work? Um, I mean, I, I don't know. We, me and Seamus have spoken and spoken about it, what, what, what we thought at the time. Um, I mean, I, we didn't think we were, we were that bad, actually. Yeah. Um, and not, not much came off in that game for, for anybody, really. It was, just, it was just one of them games. Um, but we, I mean, I do believe that it, we can't we can play in the same team. We can't run together. Um, but, that's, but that's not our choice, so we'll just have to... We'll have to wait and see when the team the team is announced the best. Yeah, if you find yourself down the right wing with it again, are you confident that it, that it will work better than it did? Yeah, the, yeah, definitely. I mean, like we, we know each other's games. Um, we're both com we're both confident players, and um, I don't I don't see how we, we would be able to work. Um, yeah. But but like I said, that's not that's not my suit. Yeah, and I know Mick had a chat with you before the Georgia game to tell you that um, you're out of the team. What was that conversation like? No, it was fine. It was fine. Just said um, what what he was going with. I didn't necessarily have a problem. I could half half see it coming after after the the game. I mean, it's never a good thing really when you get taken off after fifty five minutes. You know, you're probably going to be in trouble for the next game. Um, so it was it was nothing nothing new to me. Yeah, uh, and my last question is: Is it a case of you now in training being patient and waiting for an opportunity at right back, or are you trying to prove to the manager that you could you know you could play him? Do well in a number of different positions. No, like he knows I can play in a, in a number of different positions, but in training, like I'm playing right back, so um, I guess I'll just have to bide my time and, and, and see how it goes. I mean, like I said even a few minutes ago, whoever plays will, will do a great job. Um, so right now, it's, it's not me, so I'm going to have to just wait and, and wait for my chance. Thanks, Matt. Well, obviously, because it's a traditional right back role that you're, you're playing in training. If you do get the nod to play at some stage on, on Friday night, do you feel you'll be playing differently to the way you will be at club level? A lot more defensive responsibility? Yeah, there is a lot more defensive responsibility, and um, it will be different. But I've played a right back my, my whole life, really. Um, the kind of wing back goals I've been in the, in the last two years. Um, so I, know, I still know how to play the eventual back four and play on the right side of that. Um, so yeah, that, won't be, that wouldn't be a problem for me. There's there hasn't really been any talk about, I don't think your future at Wolves or anything like that, this summer you kind of happen to be building something special out of the club for the next couple of seasons. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, like, we've just got a great set up there at the moment. Um, great great players, great backup staff, great manager. Um, we, finished, we finished seventh this year and obviously next year we're going to we'll definitely be looking to improve on that position. Um, obviously it's going to be difficult, but I don't see any reason for me to change anything right now in my future. It's definitely at Wolves. With the top four, do you think? Do you think is that too much for Wolves? Mm, yeah, possibly. Um, it's kind of hard to say now. It depends on, I guess it depends on how we start the season, with, especially with Europa League qualification. Um, and we might need to make the squad a bit bigger if that was the case. Um, well, I mean, we, initially we'll just be looking to improve on on uh, on seventh. Obviously, we lose a lot of games against the the lower half teams that we kind of we lost when we, we would expect us to maybe win. Um, so there was, from, from this season, there's a lot we can improve on stuff. Now it's been a few weeks since the end of the season. 
how do you get your, yourself back into the game all again on Friday with, after such a long break? It's, it's a really hard thing to do. Yeah, it is, but we, that's probably why we had the camp so early. Um, we came in on the 21st, so that was only a week after, a week or so, maybe a bit longer after, after the season had finished. So we've been training for, for the most part. Um, and we've been training hard, so we're all pretty fit, we're all ready to go on Friday. Shane, I think we, we all saw the weekend, the Champions League final, how hard Liverpool and Spurs players found to get back up for a big game like that. I know you will do as much preparation I mean, get ready for that game on Friday night, but it must be really hard to get back into game mode again after such a long break. Same as what the match was for there. We, we didn't really have that long off, I know. The majority of the team have played a lot of football this season anyway, so. Um, I said we've been training hard and all it is a big break in between the last games but we had a we had a game against the twenty ones and I've got a few lads out of the game but it's competitive side of the game and um, I said I've only seen the Champions League final they they struggled a bit with it as well. So uh, it's the same with the Denmark team, so we're both in the same situation. Just um, saying to Victor earlier on about the last time Denmark were in Dublin, they seem to really have a control of the midfield area. You know, away from home. Do you think Ireland maybe showed them too much respect the last time? I'm not sure. I thought we obviously we were aware of how good they are a good team, so uh, maybe you give them a little bit of respect when we were play, trying to keep it tight and and try and see if we can get them on the counter and stuff like that. So hopefully we have a different idea now and maybe try and put them on them, don't let them get time on the ball, they play whatever they want to play sort of. So um, I'm sure Mick will be Having his ideas and we've already been doing it already in training, so uh, when we're all looking forward to and trying to, as I said before, try and put it on them and try and go and try and beat them. Shane, do you have sympathy for, for Matt's position where he's in such good form, he's now now right back and he's having to compete with Seamus? You know, as someone looking off from the outside, how do you feel about it? Yeah, well, we actually do. We sit down, me and Seamus are, are quite close in the camp anyway, so we do talk about it and stuff like that. And, as I said, Matt, Matt said before, he, he understands sometimes if they ride your time and wait, you know the level right back you have in the squad is probably one of the strongest positions in the squad, so it's difficult for him and, and that's sort of the role of the board. He's very unlucky, sort of, the captain and, and, and the level of Seamus plays there as well is, is very high and I'm sure that pushes Matt on as well to try and get better and better and that's when I think it'd be good for for us eventually if something happens. We spoke about the break and maybe the break up momentum, but for both yourself and Matt, players you've played regularly week in, week out, was it maybe good to get a fortnight just to let the body recuperate after what was a very difficult season where maybe a lot of other players are sat on the bench or have that as much game time? I thought it was beneficial I think obviously even some players are trying little niggles and stuff, even a little week and I don't know, what, ten days maybe before we met up in uh, it was good just let the body recover really and just do whatever, spend my family and stuff and get away. And as I said, we came into Portugal, it was quite intense and quite tough to get us back up again. So the lads feel quite fit now and obviously you don't know until the game situation's there. So uh, when we're all just ready now, it's game week, so we're all looking forward to getting there. We all know the qualities Christian Eriksen we've seen in first hand, but psychologically, is it going to be difficult for him <coughs> after the Champions League final to have a, a game so soon after? having? Endured the emotions of, of losing a big match like that? I was also going to be disappointed as, as anyone would be in the size of the game and, and they worked all, so hard all season to get there but I'm sure he's a top professional and he knows his role as a footballer and he's a huge player for Denmark and they only done so um, obviously the disappointment will be there but he'll get it back on and he'll win him on a game for his country like all of us do and I'm sure he'll be put it behind him and try and move on for his country. Four games in what the space of, of two years. Is that a help or a hindrance? Does it matter? I don't know. Obviously we had a bad result against them here, which was which was one of the toughest nights of most of our careers and we sort of went back out there when it was in the in the Nations League to try and and that probably was sort of a home game at the time. So um, we all know it's a huge game now and one that we want to sort of, I don't know if it's revenge or not, but we want to go to the Euros and, and they're in front of us, so we have to be to ever in front of us. Shane, sure, could, could what happened on Saturday night make Eriksen even more dangerous? He's a top player, so he can be dangerous whenever he wants, I think. He can't just really turn it on. Like he's, he's a top player and he's at a top club and probably top clubs want him, so 
as I said before, they're Denmark. He's a big player for Denmark as well. So um, he won't want to let his teammates down his country down. And I'm sure he'll be up for it and try to beat us. And we all know him. We've played him a couple of times this season already and the last four games with Denmark. So he knows what to expect when he's up against us. On a personal basis, it has been a tough season. Got there in the end. Is it nice to come away and have these two games to try and finish on a, on a high? Yeah, it was. It was. It was a tough. It was a tough couple of months there at the end. So, uh, as you said, it's different from what we used to. I was excited to come in. I was looking forward to it. Back in the after the, the first two games was really good and really exciting. So, um, I said the season was done. We we just about stayed up, which was the aim at the start anyway. So, uh, yeah, fresh start now back here and another two huge games, which everyone's looking forward to. Matt, can I ask you, how, whatever happens over the next week, how will you look back on the season? Oh, great memories. Um, I mean, it's obviously been a great season for, for Wolves and then for me personally. Um, obviously, the only bad thing you can say is that we should probably beat Watford in the, in the semi-final. Um, that's probably just one, one regret of the season. Um, but other than that, everything's kind of, for me personally, it's either come off and for the team, everything everything's gone well. Um, we managed to get ourselves into the Europa League qualification, which wasn't necessarily the goal at the start of the season, but um, obviously we'll, we'll accept that and we'll take that and, and try and push on in that competition now. Um, so yeah, no complaints. Not, not so much for yourselves, but from outside, you were perhaps a surprise package in the, in the Premier League this season. Do you think Ireland can be a surprise package in this group? Yeah, definitely. Um, we've obviously started off six months out of six, um, and that's probably why Friday night is, is so important. Um, if we can get a positive result, result going into Gibraltar, um, maybe have 10 or 12 points by the end, by the end of the summer. It goes a long way towards uh, qualification, which is, which is the end goal. Two more lads. Uh, Shane, there's kind of a narrative out there that there's a big gap in the, in some quarters, that there's a big gap in quality between Ireland and Denmark. Do you think that's a bit overblown, especially considering that you have drawn three to four games and there was obviously that heavy defeat, but that was kind of a special set of circumstances? Yeah, it probably is, I think. We're a lot closer than what people think. The distance, obviously, the, the five-one game probably is the only one where we were out, probably outclassed, I played on the night. So uh, yeah, but we've got top players here in this team as well, and in the squad, and we've got that that bond together where maybe other countries don't have, and, and we've got that quality that makes up for it. So um, people people have their opinions on everyone. So we believe in the squad that we're we're a lot closer and we can beat them on the nights and. That's one thing that as long as we believe that in the change room and the dress room between everyone, then that's probably the most important thing because we're going out there and try and beat them. Do you think imposing yourselves more in the game as opposed to just reacting to them is kind of the important thing to do to try and prove that point? Yeah, we've got to play our game. I think that's the manager said that from when we first come in. He wants to play his way in our way and worry about us more than, than other teams. So that's the approach hopefully we take and go out there and put, put our stamp on the, on the game. and. So I mean, go for it. And as I said before, we've got to have the winning mentality in the, in the group, and I think that's what we have. Cheers, Matt. Just uh, to follow up, Mick, he did say obviously that the scenario in Gibraltar didn't work, but he didn't rule it out in for future games. Um, is it something that, you know, you know you, you, you're, you're drawing off that you, you know, you remain, but. Um, you may in your own head that there's every chance that you can get picked for this game and he said especially with when there's more space running behind it, it will suit the player like yourself. So obviously away to Denmark in a sense ticks those sort of boxes. So are you very much still in the mind that you could certainly be starting on that enough for Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I mean the team is has not been named yet, so um, in my head that in my my own head I'll still train train hard and before the team is named I'll still prepare as if I am playing. Um, and I'll put, and I, if I'm not, I will still do the same because I might have to come on after five, ten minutes. Who you knows you know what could happen? Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, if I don't play, then I'll support Seamus. Um, and if I do play, obviously I'll try and win the West. Cheers, Thank you.